What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about how to improve your Wi-Fi coverage in the house, in the workplace. So, if you wanna know something about that, stay tuned. Guys, you know how that is. We hate losing Wi-Fi connection. We cannot imagine doing anything these days without the internet. And when internet is slow, that sucks. <laughs> I'm sure you had this problem before. Uh, you are in the house, walking around with your uh, smartphone or laptop. You have a look at your icon of Wi-Fi and, and you know, the connection is very weak. So, how we can improve that? Recently I went to Costco and I found this puppy and I decided to make a small review, unboxing about that. Uh, so in this video I will tell you why you might need something like this, what is the difference between this device and let's say something else, and, um, and how to set up everything. So guys, quick test, review, and I will see what, what's going on with this. It's currently on the market you have two choices. Uh, one is called Wi-Fi extender and another one is a mesh Wi-Fi extender. So what's the difference? Basically, mesh one is better and I will explain you in a bit why. Technology is changing these days in every possible way. Uh, things are getting better and better. So even devices like this, they can improve not only from the speed point of view, but also from they can improve in different areas. Okay, first let's have a look what we have inside and then I will explain what is the difference between a mesh one and a simple Wi-Fi extender. So, so let's have a look. First, let's have a look at the box, what we have here. AC 1750, what that means exactly? That means that works in dual band, so it's using in the same time 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. 2.4 GHz at speed 450 megabits per second and uh, in the same time can use 5 GHz band uh, with a speed up to 1300 megabits per second, so in total gives us 1750. They call it Wi-Fi dead zone killer because the purpose of this device is to cover all weak points in your house, office. It has support of free multiply, free multi-user MIMO. What that means exactly, I was explaining a bit in my video about the Wi-Fi 6. Uh, so more about this technology you can find in the video here. Uh, I will just say quickly, that means this device can in the same time connect up to three devices with ability to send and receive information. Gigabit internet port, so you can connect also LAN cable. And, um, and that's it, let's have a look what we have inside. Oh, lovely looking, lovely looking device. Look at that, look at that. Wow, I must say it's massive. Let's have a look. Reminds me the old phones. Wow, one of those first phones wireless that you could pull the antenna and call someone. Hello? <laughs> okay, let's have a look how big that is. That freaking thing is almost 15 centimeters without antenna, long and uh, almost eight centimeters wide. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at the manual, what it says. Quick installation guide, okay. So it's supposed to be super easy, let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like we have uh, two options. Option number one is a setup through the app, which I'm not gonna do. And the uh, other method is a good old, good old school method through the web browser. So we will be doing this. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Okay, let's have a look. We will use lit extension that I was reviewing some time ago. So if you're interested in this, uh, I made a video 
it's here. Okay, let's test this puppy. So again, step number one, connect this to the power source and wait till the LED, LED light is solid. So we have it here. Again, we can do it via the app. We can do it via a browser. And uh, I forgot to mention, there's another way, uh, via VPS button. So if your router has a VPS button, I think this is the best uh, choice. Simply you are taking this device with you to the router close to each other. Then within in two minutes, uh, you need to press this button and then quickly go to your router and press VPS uh, button as well. Okay, I will use my smartphone to connect to this device and uh, do the first setup. So Wi-Fi has to be on. Now I'm looking for a network TP-Link TP -Link extender and I need to connect this. It says connected. Next step is to go to this site, 192.168.0.254. Because we are connecting this for the very first time, he will ask for the new password, so you need to make sure you will remember that later. Now from the list of all Wi-Fi in, the, in your area, choose your Wi-Fi. So in my case, is this the, the first one? And the password, I, I forgot one moment. All done, now enjoy seamless roaming in the mesh network. Okay, let's have a look, connect, yeah. All good here. Okay guys, so installation was extremely easy, just few presses on the on your smartphone. Again, you can do it much faster with VPS button, so if you your router has this option, go with that probably. I choose option number two only because I didn't wanna go downstairs and upstairs and run all over the place, especially because I have cables everywhere. Um, before you jump to your car and go to Costco or other place to buy something like this, uh, please keep in mind that you have two options. Option A, option number one is simple Wi-Fi extender and option number two mesh Wi-Fi extender. What's the difference? Uh, first of all, this is the new generation of uh, Wi-Fi coverage and it's better. If you want to cover some uh, weak spots in small house or maybe small office, that doesn't matter which one you will choose. Uh, mesh is better in the larger places. So keep in mind this so and because the price is basically the same if you have option go with mesh if you if you have a small office small house and that doesn't really matter so with mesh it works like this this little fella here is constantly communicating with a router downstairs and they will decide which one will give better performance for the client in my case this phone uh, because I am very close to this device at the moment I am connected to this as soon as I start moving around the house let's say I will start going downstairs those devices will communicate and they will make decision now the client in my case cell phone is closer to the router so I will be automatically connected over there basically it's constantly checking which device is giving best performance and you will be connected automatically with uh, simple Wi-Fi extenders, this could be complicated. Uh, you might end up with few problems like, first problem, you might see in the Wi-Fi list two Wi-Fi connections from your router. They will have almost the same name, but uh, it will be like a different digit at the end. So you need to set up manually your cell phone to all of those Wi-Fi from the list. When, once you put the credentials, your phone will remember everything, but this is a small hassle. Better Wi-Fi extenders, uh, they solve this problem, so in the system you will have just one name of your Wi-Fi, but there will be another problem. Let's say this is not the mesh Wi-Fi extender, just normal Wi-Fi extender. So I might end up with a situation like this. I will be connected to this because it has the strongest 
uh, signal then I will start moving around the house and I will be very close to the router downstairs but not necessarily I will be switched to that better connection he will be trying hold this connection between my phone and this device doesn't matter where I am if the signal is still there doesn't matter if it's weak or not it will be still connected so uh, so yeah you will have a you will have a problem with this puppy you don't have to worry that's why those devices are great in the big houses where you have multi multi levels um, maybe you have a garage maybe uh, maybe you want to have Wi-Fi in the garden so one device is like this or even more because you can connect more and more and you are covered doesn't matter where you are in the house you will have the best possible connection okay guys that's gonna be it I think uh, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna measure any speeds because in my condition it's it's pointless I have everything very close that doesn't really matter in my environment the purpose of this video is just to make you aware that something like this exists and can solve all your Wi-Fi connection problems just interesting fact this technology is used in the supermarkets to track uh, to track you basically so if you go to the supermarket and your Wi-Fi is on or Bluetooth um, when you walk around the aisles those mesh devices that they are everywhere in the store they will check your current position with extreme precise uh, so they can measure customers behavior how long you spend time in this aisle how much in that aisle uh, did you go straight to one product or maybe you walk around so stuff like that it's uh, it's uh, it's amazing and it's creepy as well in the same time so think about that next time when you go to the supermarket all right guys that's gonna be it if you enjoy my video consider subscribing smash that like button but only if you want and i will see you next time thank you bye